What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Better Late Than Dead. My name is Splattercat and I'm happy to have you here today as we hang out for a little while and check out our island home. So the bear is gone. I actually, I turned the game off and I came back because I had to do some business. And then when I came back, the bear was gone, so I don't know. Although it's playing music at me now, that's unnerving. Why does the music sound like the music that like orcs would forge weapons to? Oh look, an oil bottle, just what I always wanted. Like, why does... <laughs> basically, oh, another knife. That actually is useful. Okay, so we got ourselves another... Where did the bear go? He's gone, but like, the game still thinks he's here because it plays scary music when you go inside the cave. Hmm. I wonder if the music is linked to the cave. In that case, what do caves have to do with orc forging music? I thought that it had to do with bears, but apparently it has to do with caves. Our meters are looking a little bit low, and every time you load the game, it clears out your hot slots. Me. I got two knives now, though. We probably should take this one back to our storage shack just to make sure that we've got it saved up for later. I don't think things actually lose durability yet, though. We got some apples. I should probably eat those. Let's put those in our inventory. I've got water. I should more than likely put that inside my body as well. Are apples better than mangoes? How much does an apple help? Enough. I mean, I don't know. I'm kind of overusing apples right now, but there are worse things that you could overuse. You know, when it comes to apples, I'm just a recreational user. I don't think I have a problem. I can quit whenever I want. Okay. How come this one went down to 32%? Did it do that every time? I thought it went down by 33% each time that I did it. Hmm. I'm going to whip my knife out real fast. Just in case shit gets real on the backside of the cave. Got to knife fight a pirate or something. I don't think we're going to get to knife fight a pirate. I'm pretty sure that is a thing that is not going to happen in this playthrough. So if you've been looking for it, did that tree just like spurn me? I was going to say, I get to shake you. Oh, it's only letting me shake once per click. That's weird. So that's a bug right there. Oh, there it is. Never mind. Now it's working again. Hooray! Click on the tree. Get the fruit. Put it inside my bag of loot. Where is... Oh, you didn't give me any loot, tree. You are failing. You have one job, tree. You have one thing that I need you to do, and you are just not even bothering. I wonder if there's anything on that little knob out there. A question that I've asked myself many, many times as I looked at my grinder account. I think that we'll go off to... I make that joke all the time. Like, seriously, you shouldn't reward me for making that joke. I should be punished. I, some people actually thought I was... Some people were like, oh my god, Splattercat has a grinder account. Looking that up now. We'll go over here. Another key. At least those stack on the plus side. Why did they use... They used an entire shipping container to move, like, luggage and one key. Why did you need a box that big for a key? just seems unnecessary. It seems like for packing and shipping, there's got to be some kind of like insider trading. Some There's some sort of like price manipulation going on here. They're like, listen, the crate's got to go to the place it's got to go, whether it's full or empty. Otherwise, our insurance premiums go up. So you know what? Just put anything you want inside the crate, and when it gets there, we'll talk about it. All right, but this seems like a waste of resources. I'm not trying to be that guy right now. They're like, well, Ted, you are that guy right now, okay? You are that guy. So just put stuff in the shipping containers and go for it. I think I should probably refill my water before I leave again and go on any further adventures, but there's this red tree over here. Oh my god, what happened right there? Anyways, I just had like this giant like frame drop lag spike. There was, eh, something terrible happened to my character. Alright, so let's get up in here. Ooh, apples. Yeah. There we go. I feel like the fruit, like the apples and stuff, they should give you a little bit of hydration too because your body is able to glean hydration from like the random things. Did I already shake this tree? Is this the one that I already shook? Nope, didn't shake this one yet. He's pretty strong if you can shake a tree that's that thick. Like, seriously, I think you could shake a palm tree if you're pretty mighty. But this dude's shaking trees that are, like, enormous. This is an apple tree that's been around the block a couple times and will not be pushed or shoved in any way that it doesn't want to be. Ooh, I thought my head was getting all weird and fizzy right there. That's odd. Hmm. All right, then we found a new thing. Look at water, head gets fizzy. It's my psychic powers. That's how we know. What was that name of that game on the PlayStation where the kid had like psychic powers and he could like explode people and set them on fire? Galarians? Was that the name of the game? God, what a weird reference to make. I totally forgot about Galarians until I just now said it. I think I had, I got that PlayStation monthly magazine when I was a kid. And like, I got a lot of, what I wanted to do when I was a kid, I wanted to be a gaming journalist. And then growing up and finding that I had no writing talent. I had to become a YouTuber, and that's basically the way the whole process works. And so anyways, without any credential or whatever, it's very hard to get a job in that arena. Plus, it's hard to work there anyways because everybody wants to work in gaming media. Still, that aside, I wanted to be a gaming journalist, and so my parents humored me 
by ordering magazines that I could like read and learn to write from and stuff like that and like learn how to write articles and whatnot. They were cool parents. I have very, very cool parents. So anyways, I remember that that was one of the demos that I got in one of my... I should go back and get water first. Let's run back and we'll get some water before we head off on the road because we don't have a ton of food right now. And we don't have water either. I think I would like to fill up both of my water bottles before we go any further. Just to make sure that we don't have to go back to base anytime soon to get our stuff back. And then I'm going to keep shaking trees on our way in. But I'd like to search the big island a little bit better for notes and things of that nature. I don't know if the storyline has been fully implemented in the game just yet, and I have no idea how many episodes of this we're going to get out of it. Like, I don't really know when I should break this off and stop. I mean, the bear with his music, his random... Hey, we got one right there. Hell yeah. I love it when I'm victorious like that. You know, it'd probably be easier. Well, what I would do anyway is I would just get up on this hill right here and jump for a limb right there. It'd be a tough jump, but... Well, I, I think you'd probably get up that trunk if you're... If your arm radius was a little bit wider than mine. But anyway, specifics aside, let's go back and fill up our water. Like I said, I don't know how many episodes I'm going to get out of this game. It's kind of like one of those weird things where it's in really, really, really early access. To the point where there's probably not a whole lot of stuff inside the game to do. I think most people have already... This is like a day or two later now since it went up on Steam. And I think they've already... Like somebody within like the first day had already posted all the crafting recipes and everything else. And so there's not like a ton of stuff to do in the game. I just wanted to play around with it for a little while. And the game struck me with the weird amount of like horror references it does. Like, I think the game is very, very rough right now. I'm going to keep an eye on it just because I cover survival games and that's what I do. But I think the game is in rough shape. I think that, you know, from the animations and everything, it's definitely a low budget project. But that aside, I think they need to work on the animals a little bit too because they run weird. Like, I don't know. There's a lot of things here that like need to be brushed up and polished, but still, I like how they've managed to, like, take things and mix them with a little bit of, they took, like, a little bit of horror, mix it with a little bit of survival, but it's not zombies, it's more like, I don't know, it's got, like, a weird biohazard feel to it, where, like, something weird and sinister went on in these islands, there's body bags everywhere, and we gotta figure out, I mean, why do we wash up in a coffin? Like, what was that all a part of? Do we, like, try and stage a mutiny and fail or something? Like, they never explained why we got thrown out of a boat in a coffin. Did they think we were dead? They give us a burial at sea? That's like the worst. I don't know if I would want a burial at sea. It seems like there's a likely chance that you would just wash up somewhere. Knowing what I know about things that get thrown into lakes, they always wash up somewhere. Don't ask me how I know that. <laughs> Was a murderer in a past life? Nope, I haven't murdered anybody and then thrown them in the ocean and they washed up later. What are you talking about? I have no idea. I've never been to New Jersey. What? <laughs> Let's go across this. I think I see a couple more houses over there. So we're going to swim across this before nighttime gets here. And then we'll spend a little bit of time just sort of looking around this village and see if there's anything that we want to find out here. But yeah, that's kind of like one of my concerns right now is that I don't know how much longevity you can get out of this game. And if you don't have a tolerance for weird sort of quirky, it's not like buggy. It's not like fully buggy because buggy stuff doesn't work. It's just this game is quirky and like a lot of the animations and things are just like weird and oddly designed. And so like the stuff that's there does work. It's all just kind of... Not much to look at, you know what I mean? I don't know. I think I'm going to try and swim across. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Let's see if we can get over to those rocks right there. I gotta wait for my stamina to come back, though, because I don't know what happens if you run out of stamina in the middle of the water. But I would assume that would be a critical where are my floaties moment. Alright. Let's do this thing. I learned how to swim when I was a little kid. Because I went to a pool party when I was like three or four, maybe five years old. And I had water wings and a bunch of my friends didn't have water wings. And I just wanted to fit in. That was my lifelong, that right there, that was probably the experience. I have two memories of being a child. I remember that day too. I remember that day and holding onto the side of the pool and not really like being able to swim. But I could see other kids doing it. So I was like, eh, obviously it's possible because they're doing it and I'll be okay. So anyways, I didn't, okay, so there's two events here. That really sort of, if I explain them, you'll be like, oh, so that's why you ended up on YouTube someday. It all makes sense right now. Please, I hope there's no shark. Getting bit by sharks in the darkness would be horrible. The sharkness, I guess. I don't want to get bit in the sharkness. Either way, two events. So, event number one. The one memory I have of being like three years old is I'm on a swing, and I figured out how a swing works. And I was like totally stoked. But nobody would acknowledge the fact that I figured out how a swing worked. They were just like, eh, that's great, two-year-old, nobody cares. Welcome to life, that's how it works. You accomplish something, you accomplish something and nobody gives a shit. Welcome to life. And then the second event is the water wings floaties things where I wanted the acceptance of my peers by throwing off the water wings and breaking away from their pneumatic assistance and swimming all by my lonesome. And so, I think it's that thirst for acceptance and that desire for people to just, like, look at me. I don't know what it is. It's probably some sort of deep down in sickness. You guys can call it whatever you want. Where is my torch? My torch, my torch, my kingdom for a torch. Let's go... I'm probably going to put this into the... 
one slot because I don't see us stabbing anything anytime soon. The stabbing animation is rough to say the least. And so I figure we probably want to stay away from things rather than risk the chance of having to stab them to death with the janky stab animation. I'm going to try and get up inside of here. I mean, you can also use the torch to beat things, so it's kind of like we've already got a weapon on our hotbar. Oh, look, more dead guys. Great, just what I always wanted to find. We've got a another, I think that's another Zippo right there. We don't need that. I'm going to leave it where it lies. Is there anything over here next to all the dead guys? Ew, flies. Anybody want a big juicy horse fly that's been fattening itself on the corpses of your dead peers? Huh? Make a handy meal. It'll be delicious. Buzz, buzz. All right, well, there's a water pump over here. I think that actually the water might be a little bit too prevalent in the game. There's like water everywhere. And that might just be a crutch for when people like are starting the game right now in early alpha because they plan on making you boil your water and stuff like that and it's not implemented yet. So they just decided to go over the top and put water everywhere. Eh, might be, but what's inside here? Another caniv. I will take it. Alright, so now that we got ourselves some knives. What's in here? We got some more lighter. Wow, there's a ton of lighter fluid in here. Okay, so a whole bunch of lighter fluid. What does this say? Dear Diary, I lost you. I just have scraps of paper to write on. I've been eating mangoes for a month, I think. It's like an enforced juice diet. I've searched this island and the other small one. I don't know what the billboard is advertising. KL1. If you know what that means, please write here. I'll leave the paper and pen. I don't see a pen around. You had one job. Okay, two jobs. Leave the paper, leave the pen. You had two jobs. Anyway, so how full up am I? I'm almost at like 60 kg right now. And given the fact that I don't think that our torch goes anywhere, I'm not going to worry about picking up lighters or anything anymore. I think we have too many of them. I think the knife is also probably something that I could get away with not picking up any longer. But I just keep doing it because weapons, why not? Let's drink a little bit of water because we are looking thirsty. Yeah, quit acting so thirsty. There it is. So we got ourselves a little bit of thirst taken care of. I think we'll run up the hill. And let's have a look around and see if there's any other buildings around here. We're still fighting notes. We're still uncovering little snippets of storyline. As it seems, it looks like there was some kind of purge. Like they came through and killed everybody or somebody did. But there was a couple people that didn't get killed, and so they're leaving notes all over the place. It might be the same guy. I'm not really too positive, but talking about enforced juice diets, I lost about 100 pounds when I was about 24, I guess. I went down from, when I got out of high school, I bulked up because I was living on my own for the first time. And I was like, oh my god, I can eat whatever I want all day, every day. I'm an adult, and I am, you know, able to look after my own needs. And so I just had like a diet of like candy and ice cream for like a year. And then I just played World of Warcraft like 12 hours a day. And so, because of this, I ended up becoming quite rotund, as you might expect. And so, in my rotundity, is that a word? Rotu is that a boat? What is that right there? It's a boat. Oh, damn. So oh, it's busted. It's got several holes. It has structural flaws. Let's just say that. This boat is structurally flawed, and I don't think it's going to suit our needs. If you need some planks, though, it might be able to supply those. I'm all out of stamina, so let's just hang tight for a minute. But yeah, I got kind of husky after high school. And so when I was like 23 or 24, I just got tired of being big. And so I started working out a lot, and I still do that to this day. I run five miles a day and everything like that, and I lost a lot of weight. But I went on a juice fast. That's how I lost like a ton of weight, as I ate nothing but turkey, juice, and like milk for probably about a year, like nonstop. And I tell you what, those juice fasts, they will turn you inside out. They are not funsies. What is this right here? Oh, another cave. This one doesn't have a bear inside of it, but there's a bunch of pipes. So, you know, apparently the bear decided it was time to... Oh, shit, what is that on the ground? What was that? There was a thing on the ground. I saw it. It's a big-ass spider right there. Can I knife the spider? Can I murder you? It looks like he's trying to bite me, but, like, nothing's happening. Hmm. Maybe the spider is ineffective in his advances. I don't know. That's a big spider, though. I don't play around with spiders that size. Not me, no way. Mm-mm, I'm not that guy. It doesn't look like he's capable of, like, accomplishing anything, so I guess I'll just, like, look around for a minute. But, yeah, I don't think that he can do anything to us. I don't know. Guess we'll find out. I don't want to be in first-person mode anymore. This makes me upset. Let's do something else for a second. 
So if I refill my water, let's go back to the village. I refill the water bottle and we make our way inwards. I think that the island we came from is right there, which means that the big island is still that one. It doesn't look like there's any more outlying islands, and so I think the smartest plan... Oh, look, our torch finally burned down to 64%. Huh. Maybe I do need all of the oil that I have on me right now. I still have, like, 500 oils, though, so I think I'll just, like, mentally log the fact that there is a shit ton of oil on this island that I have not yet exploited and just not worry about it. Refill that water, though. Refill that water, though. Mmm. Oh, it's still got water in it. Hold on. There you go. Now refill that water, though. Cool. Use that right there. Got myself two agua bottles. In general, the amount of water you're going to need to survive for one day is somewhere between a couple of liters and a gallon. If it's hot out. If it's humid and you're getting more moisture sucked out than you can actually put back in, it might take more. The most I've ever drank in one field excursion, I think, was two gallons in a day. I drank a lot of water that day, but we were working in a swamp. It was a weird situation that I'd never actually had to deal with before. We were working in a swamp, and it was like 100 degrees, and it was also like maximum humidity. Like all the humidity in the world, and it totally sucked, and I drank a lot of water. One of the few times that I ever actually ran out of water in the field and was like, oh shit, I ran out of water. That's not good. I mean, but two, more than two gallons of water for one day? That's a lot of water. I don't know. I couldn't fit any more in my backpack anyways. I'm just going to swim in the pitch black for right now. And I'm just going to assume that we're not going to run into anything that wants to kill me. Huh? Can we make that assumption right now? I think we can. It'll probably be fine. Whee! Turning with the W keys. And the A and the S and the D keys. Huzzah. You can't actually really steer in water with the mouse. I guess you got to use the keyboard to be able to do it. And it produces these large, like, swiping motions. Let's get over to the beach. We can make it. I know you can accomplish this. I believe in you right now, even though nobody else does, and it's so dark that I can't even tell what you're doing aside from maybe swimming a little bit. God, it's dark. Yeah, they definitely, they don't need to make the torch brighter, but they need to make the halo of the ring around your character larger so that it at least illuminates like five, ten feet in front of you while you're running around. Oh, we're out of stamina again. Let me wait for that to solve itself. We can eat some apples while we wait. It's a little bit dark though, so I'm going to wait till morning and I'll come back. So daytime came back, as it's been known to do, as have I. I think what I want to do for right now is let's play around with coconuts, actually, because I only have one apple remaining. I think I should probably ditch some stuff in my stash, too, while we're over here, so we can come back and get it later. So let's go to our little shedicle real fast. It's this little building right here, I think. And once we get inside of there, we'll ditch a lot of this stuff, and then we'll try and play around with the coconuts since we have a knife now. I think we have to walk around this wide. Also, did I... I thought I drank all my water. I did drink all my water. Apparently I refilled my bottles. I don't know. I don't pay attention to half the shit I do around here. I am just the worst YouTuber ever. So we don't need another knife. I mean, technically we don't even need two knives. I'm just going to drop those on the ground real quick. I'm going to keep this stuff because I want to play around with it for a little while. We've got a lighter, but the lighter isn't required to light the torch. So I assume it must be for like a campfire or something. Other than that, I don't know exactly where we go with that. I don't know if there's fishing in the game or anything like that. But we have a stick over here. Maybe we can do something with the stick. I don't know. Like, if I... Can I sharpen a stick and make, like, punjies or something? No. Add that and then cut. Ooh, we made a spear. That's pretty cool. So what do we do with a spear? I Obviously, it's fairly obvious what you do with a spear, but I mean inside the confines of the game, don't question me. It's fine, don't worry about it. I know what a spear is for. They'd be like, this guy's a jackass. How does he not know what a spear is? You gotta be like the worst Spartan ever. <laughs> right now there's some random guy from Sparta. <laughs> some random Spartan like time traveling watching the video. These are the things that I think about. They make no sense. It's all non sequitur. None of it makes any sense whatsoever. I'm like, wouldn't it be funny if there was like a time traveling Spartan? And he saw that the, I made the spear with the knife and the stick, and then I don't know what I, I don't know what to do with the spear, and so he thinks that's super funny because Spartans they do a lot of work with spears, so they know. And then you know that's the joke. And I'm like, but why is he time traveling? How do we get to that premise? There has to be some connector in between, like how we got from time traveling into like a Spartan watching me make a spear in a video game on YouTube. Like, eh, I don't know. This is why I can't do stand-up comedy. This is why, because none of it makes any sense. I just sit there and, like, random shit happens in my head. I'm like, wouldn't it be funny if this thing that makes no sense happened? And then I think it's hilarious, but then nobody else ever seems to. So <laughs> I'm going to go back to my corner. So since we have a spear, we should probably find something to stab, right? I mean, 
It's the logical next step. Craft spear. Stab enemy in face with spear. So if I equip this... Sure. Let's put it in instead of our torch. It's daytime. We don't need that. That stick is a lot lar- He throws it? Oh, that's more of a javelin then. Can I get that back? Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, I'm about to ruin some wolf's day. How many of these can I make? Can Do these stack? That's the next thing that I'm thinking. Do these stack? First and foremost, let's check this little set of buildings down here because why not? We're already in the neighborhood. More dead people. As to be expected, this place must just smell awful. Can you imagine bodies in, like, the tropical sun? Oh, my God. There was, like, what is that? A basic key? Is that different from what? Oh, it's got KL1 on it. So that's different than the old key that we have. So how do those differentiate, though? I'm going to eat my apple real fast. You know, inventory space, just in case we find anything useful in here. Yeah, it looks like somebody murdered a robot right there, too. Boom, headshot. Is there... So there's rags in here. A lot of rags. A lot of mattresses, too. If you want to sleep on a dirty mattress, this is the resort for you. I think there's a note over here. Oh, there's a radio, too. Can I do anything with the radio? No, can't do anything with the radio. All right. What does this do? I tried to search the island for a set of keys. I heard rumors that there's a lab somewhere on the large island, but I can't find it. The wolves have already killed two people. I saw everything. I'd have been too busy running. I could never fess up to that. I'd be like, listen, the wolf was headed right for that other guy. I said, forget this noise. I took off running. I heard some wolfish barking and maybe some screaming. I can't verify or confirm this story because I wasn't looking. My eye was looking off in the distance as far the hell away from a wolf as it could possibly be. So you know what? That guy had his chance. This is survival of the fittest. Mm-mm, not me. I'm like, you know what you're called? I don't know you. You're called bait. That's what you're called. I don't have to run faster than the wolf. I just got to run faster than you. I think... Did we hit that building over there? I don't think we did. It looks delightfully unpunched right now. So let's hit that building. And then once we check that one, I think that's going to be the break-off point for this episode. I may walk up on the docks a little bit and see if there's anything over there, but I doubt there will be. Watch, the best gear in the game's over there. It's like an AK-47 with like 900 rounds. Kevlar body armor. Wolf grenades. Those are grenades that actually... Heat-seeking wolf grenades. There we go. I had to make the joke a little bit more funny. You throw the grenade and it just like chases a wolf around the island. The wolf is slightly faster than the propelled grenade, so it's always just like five feet behind him. Takes him all, what is this? There are cameras and machines everywhere. Somebody is watching us. If you can read this and want to help me, find me at the other part of this beach. I know a place where we can stock up on Medicine. Okay. All right, well, Medicine is pretty cool. I guess I'll take the oil with me. I might as well. I mean, we're not overweight yet. I would like to find this lab location, especially considering the fact that we have a key now. A key that looks like it might be a profitable... It actually looks like a real key. It kind of looks like a car key, actually. Looks like the sort of key that would get us up into, like, a Wrangler or something like... Vroom, 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 and get going. Who got the keys to the Jeep? Beep, beep. Splattercat got the keys to the Jeep. Vroom, vroom. I think this is where I'm going to break off the episode. So my name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerd Castle for more of my moronic ramblings and survival gameplay. I will see you all later. Thank you for joining me. Hi, do, everybody. I'll be back tomorrow with a little bit more Better Late Than Dead. We're going to find this lab. It's going to be great. See you all later.